Today, Osprey's flying too high and the latest on gun control on campus. Stay tuned because Spinnaker News starts right now. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Emmett Clark, and you're watching Spinnaker News. A car without a sticker led to something thicker. According to UNFPD, two people were arrested outside the Thomas G. Carpenter Library for possession of marijuana, paraphernalia, and a firearm. The incapacitated individuals were parked in a handicapped spot without a permit, which caused the officer to investigate. The strong odor of burning reefer was enough for the officer to talk to the driver. When asked if there was anything illegal inside the vehicle, all three occupants replied no. After searching the vehicle, the officer found 13.5 grams of weed, 1.2 grams of burned marijuana, and six unused cigarillos, and a semi-automatic pistol. The pistol was registered but had an expired concealed weapons permit. The driver claimed that a friend left some of the items in their car earlier that week. Two of the occupants were arrested and the firearm as well as the car were released back to the owner. Spitaker will live stream the gun control panel that will be held this Monday on October 12th. Moderated by President Delaney, the panel is part of the Civil Discourse series and aims to discuss both sides of the gun control debate. Panelists include Cord Bird, a National Rifle Association representative, Eric Friday, a Florida carry rep, former NFL offensive lineman Richard Collier, and William J. Shepard, who is a criminal trial lawyer. Registration is required to attend, and for more information, you can contact OneJax at onejax.unf.edu. We held a Facebook poll asking students' opinion on allowing guns on campus. As of this morning, 50.8% of respondents supported having guns on campus, while 45.7% were against. Make sure to keep up with our Facebook page for more polls. Now let's toss it over to Diane with sports. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Diane Colley, filling in for my mini-me, Diana Shanks. Let's go ahead and get you ready for a great weekend of sports. The basketball team enters the 2015-2016 Atlantic Sun men's basketball season in first place in both preseason coaches and media polls. FGCU came in second in both polls, with NJIT coming up short in third place. Several individual players were also honored this preseason. Bo Beach was voted preseason player of the year, and Demarcus Daniels was named A-Suns defensive player of the year. Both seniors were selected alongside junior teammates Dallas Moore and Chris Davenport for the preseason all-conference team. Now that's what I call a slam dunk. It looks like the volleyball team will be in action tonight as they begin their longest stretch of home matches for the season. They host Lipscomb tonight at 6. It's the Osprey's pink match, and even though it's usually on Wednesdays that we wear pink, tonight is the exception to join the volleyball players and wear pink in support of breast cancer. Can't make it to tonight's game? No worries. The Osprey's will also host NJIT in the arena tomorrow at 1. The volleyball team isn't the only one facing off NJIT this weekend. The women's soccer team will gear up to play NJIT tonight at 7.30. The battle will continue into tomorrow as they take on Lipscomb at 1. Luckily, these two games are on home territory, so be sure to go out and support your fellow Ospreys. Excited for all that's in store this weekend? Why don't you share that excitement with us by tweeting us at UNS Spinnaker. Until then, that's all I have for sports today. Let's toss it back to Emmett at the desk. Thanks, Diane. Well, that's all the time we have for you today on Spinnaker News. But for more of the stories reported today and other stories, you can check us out at unfspinnaker.com. You can also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash UNF Spinnaker, and you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at UNF Spinnaker. For Diane Colley, I'm Emmett Clark. Be sure to stay tuned for your three-day forecast, and have a great day, UNF.